Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my thoughts on another couple of Jean-Claude Van Damme films. We're going to be talking about Legionnaire, which came out in 1998, as well as Six Bullets, which came out in 2012. We'll be starting with uh, Legionnaire. Now, Legionnaire follows Elaine, who's a boxer, 1925 France, when he doesn't take the dive pay to take by a mob boss. He has to split. He joins the Foreign Legion and is sent to Morocco. He makes friends and they watch each other's backs. <laughs> Another kind of oddly simplistic sort of uh, sum up from uh, IMDb there. Uh, but yeah, I just watched uh, Legionnaire the other night. I actually ordered the DVD. Um, uh, one, of, one of those uh, lesser, yeah, lesser talked about, maybe overlooked. Uh, JCVD films, um, but it's one I wanted to seek out. It, it's uh, one of those more unique ones, not per his usual, I suppose, in terms of its uh, execution and style. Um, it, I wouldn't even call this a martial arts film or anything like that. I mean, there is you know some physical fighting. You know, uh, Van Damme looks good doing it, um, but there's really no scenes that are like honed in on that. Really, it's uh, more of a war film, I guess. Uh, kind of more of a character drama. You know wrapped around that and uh, I guess I, I liked it you know I thought it was pretty good um, I think probably one of Van Damme's you know finer performances but I seem more and more pleased with uh, his work as I watch more of it and uh, this is another one that you know like uh, in hell like uh, wake of death and uh, well, yeah, I don't know if I'm putting Lee quite on those uh, playing fields but it's definitely more driven by by the character, and uh, I'm sure this is one Van Damme maybe sort of follows a little bit more uh, focused on uh, showing that side to himself, and uh, I think he did here. And the rest of the cast, his friends, the soldiers um, that he meets along the way, um, I can't pronounce his name, but the uh, actor who played Luther, um, Stephen Burkoff as the sergeant, I thought it was actually a uh, fairly well-developed character for the uh, shorter runtime the movie had. Um, then he had uh, Nicholas Farrell, uh, Matt, you know, it's Macintosh, you know, sort of the closest one to uh, Van Damme's character, I guess. Um, and then uh, Jim Carter, who I think is known for, I think he's in Downton Abbey, you know, the past few years or so. Um, so actually a pretty good cast there, and uh, what I was most pleasantly surprised by was probably the depth actually given some of these characters. There's a couple twists, a couple surprise deaths. Um, and, uh, yeah, they actually, they actually try and, uh, you know, progress things with the characters, not just straight up black and white, and, uh, you know, it feels a bit more meaningful than you'd expect from a, you know, Van Damme actioner, you know, type of flick. Uh, so, yeah, I actually, uh, I liked, uh, Legionnaire quite a bit. Um, I, I won't say it's one of my very favorites of his or anything, but it's uh, definitely a respectable entry into uh, you know, Van Damme's massive, massive catalog that I think should be given a little bit more attention. And if I had to rate it, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I could see myself giving it maybe like an 85%, 83%, somewhere in there, you know, a solid B. So uh, yeah, let me get a thought about Legionnaire if you've seen it. And now talking about six bullets, I just thought it'd be cool to pull up a you know, Japanese poster there. Um, imagine Van Damme in a Godzilla movie, by the way, that'd be entertaining. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, six bullets, it came out in uh, 2012. It's about an ex-mercenary known for finding missing children who is hired by a mixed martial arts fighter whose daughter has been kidnapped. And yeah, it's funny, I just rewatched the movie Skin Trade, the Dolph Lundgren movie with uh, my girlfriend a few days ago. And now I go back to a Van Damme film that sort of focuses on the same type of issue, you know, with human trafficking and stuff like that. Um, Joe Flanagan's character eventually tries to, uh, you know, seek Van Damme or his character Samson's uh, help with uh, you know, his daughter being taken. Um, and this is a pretty good one. Speaking of Dolph Lundgren, by the way, for some reason when I watched this movie, it gave me like a similar feel that one of his movies in the 2000s did uh, the Russian special, uh, Russian uh, specialist. Just in terms of some of the coloring and uh, you know, sort of how the action was shot, that's not a bad thing though. Just for some reason, that came to mind. Um, a pretty good performance from Van Damme. You know, one of those 
Yeah, you know, people seem to criticize any later movies from uh, you know classic action stars, but I think Van Damme has held the best out of any of them. Um, there's a you know quite a couple handfuls of uh, movies you know post Van Damme's prime that I could actually name that I thoroughly like, and uh, this is another one of them. I, again, I wouldn't say this is a favorite either. Um, I didn't. I have enjoyed some of the more recent ones more than this, but again, another uh, respectable entry and uh, definitely one that really doesn't have much to be criticized necessarily. There are there are a few uh, you know violent you know fairly well choreographed um, fight scenes. Uh, and then we see a knife pretty well at the beginning in particular, as well as the scene in the butcher room where his character is being whipped. Um, this character's dealing a lot with his trauma and his work, as you can imagine. I don't even need to dive into spoilers for you to get an idea of that. Um, so Van Damme again gets to play a character that has a lot of weight to him, and Van Damme actually does pretty well with that. Uh, just over the years, Van Damme has become like a really, really capable and uh, really good actor at portraying you know, like world weariness, and uh, he just does that. Like I, I swear, just like that. Um, but yeah, I liked him, of course. <laughs> and uh, Joe Flanagan. Some people's issues with this movie that I've seen is that it focuses too much on him, the father, not enough on Van Damme. Uh, I, I actually wasn't as overwhelmed by that as I was thinking. It's uh, actually not that uh, that uh, attention diverting from what we're all watching, from who for who we're all watching for. Excuse me. Um, so I think they divided it up fine enough for uh, the kind of story they're telling. Um, Joe Flanagan was pretty good. He was he was likable. Um, I wasn't overly impressed, but you know he fit in well enough for the narrative of the movie. And Louise Plowman um, as the mother, uh, who I think was actually an episode or so of Black Sails. Uh, she was she was uh, pretty good here. I actually was kind of surprised by uh, a couple of scenes they gave her near the end. She had to show a little more of her uh, you know acting range because she is the mother. You know how a mother to get when their daughter would be in a or you know any of their children be in a situation like this like any parent should and she gets to show a good range of that um the actress who played the daughter didn't get a whole lot to do as you expect but she does go to sort of uh you know of course the obvious danger and desperation she is in when they do show her um the villains were you know bad guys are pretty good you know sleazy scum that you just want to see get their ass kicked and you know stabbed shot whatever they're all right not really memorable though um Chris Van Damme was actually in this, Van Damme's actual son, playing his son in this, so that was nice to see. Um, he's likable, he and his father do share some good scenes together. Um, I won't say he has his father's charisma, but still good to see him uh, pop up in these things. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, yeah I think uh, Six Bullets, it was pretty good, like I said, not really... S I, I did prefer Legionnaire over this one, but they're not very similar movies at all. Um, I won't say this is my favorite of the 2000s Van Damme stuff either, but one you, you gotta like and uh, respect if you're a fan of uh, JCBD like y'all should be. <laughs> so yeah, if I had to rate it, I'm giving it like a 80%, you know, B- minus somewhere in there. I liked it fine with having it in my collection, of course, to keep adding to it. So let me you guys thought about both these movies, and uh, yeah, so you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.